What is up guys, it is Aaron from Rudy Visuals and in today's video we're going to show you a very quick tutorial on how to make eyes stand out in your portraits. So roll the intro. So if you are shooting portraits, the most important part without a doubt is the eye of the person you are shooting. First of all, that is the part that's gonna be in focus in the picture. And second of all, the eye can really evoke a lot of emotion. So we really wanna make sure that the eyes stand out as much as possible. So we're gonna show you a quick way of doing this in Lightroom. But you can also do this in Photoshop. It's a little bit more advanced in Photoshop, so let's just try and keep it simple for this video. Okay, so we have a photo here that we can use as an example. We have uh, Magda, who we had a photo shoot with a couple of weeks ago, and she has got very, very beautiful blue eyes, but there are some things we can do to make these eyes stand out more. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the eyes using the adjustment brush. You can also use the radial filter, but I do find that the adjustment brush, you can be a little bit more accurate with it. So I click on the adjustment brush, and we're gonna adjust the brush size to something uh, a little bit more convenient. That's good size. And what you wanna do is you wanna draw around the pupil as well as the whites of the eye, like so. And repeat that process for the other eye as well, like so. And now if you wanna see what you've highlighted, just click here, show selected mask overlay. And that's what we've highlighted. Now we have it on plus, if you hold the Alt key, uh, you can make some adjustments and just make sure that the tops of the eyes uh, are not selected and around this, the eyes as well just to make it a little bit more accurate and there you go that's the part that we have highlighted so let's untick this so we can see how our changes affect the eye so first thing we're going to do we're going to up the exposure so the exposure is how bright or dark the images and we want to up the exposure just a little bit now something I would say is with all of these edits uh, all the sliders that you see you want to be as subtle as possible so you can crank it up and go really crazy but as you can see if we go crazy she ends up looking like a white walker or a zombie or some kind of weird superhero so you want to be very very subtle with just just very minor tiny little changes can make a very big difference once you're finished. So something small, I think around about, just there looks good to me. Just bring up that exposure a little bit. Okay, that looks good to me. Next, we want to bring the shadows down. So we're gonna make those shadows darker. So by bringing down the shadows, it just frames the rim of the pupil a little bit more. I think around there looks good to my eye. So next, let's bring up the whites. This is gonna make the reflections in her eye stand out a little bit more, as well as bring those whites and make them more amplified. So again, very subtle, too much is a little bit, makes the whites of her eyes go a little bit crazy. So I think just a little bit around about 18 looks good to me. And the last thing I would do is I would bring the saturation up. So this is how punchy the colors are. So in this case, we have these lovely blue eyes. We're gonna make those a little bit more punchier, bring those blues up a bit. Again, you don't wanna go too crazy with this where it looks like unnatural. You wanna keep it still looking fairly like realistic. So around about here, I think that looks quite good to me while still looking realistic. Okay, so that's what we've done so far. Now we're gonna do another layer. So we're gonna click on the adjustment brush again and make a second layer. This time, let's make this brush a little bit smaller. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna draw a layer around the eyes. So again, hold it down and let's just draw around the eye like so. And again, repeat it for the other eye. And if we click on show selected mask overlay, we can see what we've done here. Okay, let's just add a bit more here because I didn't quite get that right. And let's just do a little bit more here. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna adjust this part of the eye now. 
Uh, we can hold the Alt key again if you want to just clean it up a little bit. I think I want to unhighlight some of these bits here in the middle. And also on this side as well. Okay, so let's unmask that. So the aim of this mask is to just have a more stronger frame around the eyes. So we can start by bringing those shadows down to make that frame a little bit stronger. And then finally, we can increase the contrast again, just to make that barrier around our eyes more prominent. I think around here looks good to me. All right, and there you have it. If you wanna see the before and after, we can scroll down. There is this tiny little button over here where you can turn off the brush adjustments to see what you've done and haven't done. So you can see it's very subtle, but actually there's quite a big difference. Um, and if, especially if you zoom out to the full image, you can really see what a big difference that's made. It's the eyes stand out a lot more and your eye, when you're looking at this photo, it just naturally, it just pulls you in and just makes it look a lot better. So there you have it, a very simple technique to make eyes stand out in your portraits. This is a technique that we pretty much use in every single portrait we edit. I'll show you a few examples of some photos where we've edited the eyes to make them stand out a little bit more. Okay, so what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments section below. Hopefully you found that video useful. If you don't have access to Lightroom, I do believe that there are some free editing softwares like GIMP that also have the similar sort of sliders where you can adjust the contrast and things around the eyes. Um, so give that a go. If you have any questions at all, please do leave them in the comment section below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Do keep a lookout on our channel. We'll be trying to make more of these kind of easy tutorials uh, as, as much as we can. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you liked it, please do give it a like. And if you loved it, hang around and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell as well. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook if you wanna see more of our work. And you can check out our website, www.rudyvisuals.com if you'd like to know more about us. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, bye-bye.